Well, turning now to the educational impact of the coronavirus pandemic, we're tracking school closures all around the Portland metro area due to COVID related staffing shortages. Emma Jerome joins us live with more on how the district will operate for the next three weeks. Emma. All right, good morning, Ken, and welcome back, Emily. I'm here in North Portland at a dark Ockley Green Middle School, and normally in the next couple hours, students and staff, they'd be waking up, preparing to come into the school and, you know, start their school day, but not today, and that is because they are switching to distance learning due to the COVID closures that we're seeing all across our area. School district officials say that the next logical question, of course, for all of us would be, when will my kids get back in the building. They say they're checking around the clock to determine if there are enough staff to hold in person class, deploying certified office staff such as principals and administrators to fill in. The conditions have been challenging. For example, Sunday night, Ockley Green had 26 total staff call out sick. Officials say they expect that number to rise. In a statement released to us this week, the Portland Association of Teachers said, quote, we are absolutely advocating for people to follow health protocols, everybody to get vaccinated and boosted, and we know we can't have kids in school if we can't be safe. They continue to say it's definitely presenting a challenge we never would have wanted to face now. That so many school staffers are impacted by COVID, needing to quarantine or isolate. All extracurriculars as well are currently being postponed, and this is not a problem independent to us in the Portland metro area. Our, our friends up north in Vancouver Public Schools, they are suffering very similar shortages. We have more information on that coming up at 530.